Welcome back. We are so excited. Lacey, for your taste of Oklahoma, it's a new segment right here on News 9. And today, she's going to the village. There's a new restaurant. What, in Cassidy Square, Turning yeah, Heads? Turning Heads. It's called Symmetry. And just like the name suggests, the service and quality perfectly match the creative vision of the chef. Inside the old Nafee's jewelry store is a true gem. The new restaurant Symmetry kept the old jewelry vault, and Chef Glenn Scott is unlocking some serious flavor. I've been cooking for 22 years now. I've done a lot of work in Korean, American, German, French, Moroccan. I really enjoy the different flavors of different cultures and different cooking techniques. So that's really just kind of become me as a chef. I've kind of been known as the nomad chef in the area because I'm always moving around and doing something different. The restaurant is the brainchild of two former mahogany proprietors. It's where Chef Scott gets to flex his creative mind. Talk to me about Symmetry. Opened in November. How would you describe it to people? It's different. It's very different and it's colorful and it's fun and it's not going to be like another concept you can find in the area. And that's what we reflected into with our bar menu and what we did with food is it needed to be a palette of color and flavor and be fun. A lot of people want to say that we're fine dining. We're not. We are a chef and artistic driven concept. What have you been surprised with since you've opened up? The incredible amount of support and just the general reaction of the public. I can't go anywhere without someone stopping me. It's like, you're the chef at Cemetery. I, I get stopped everywhere I go. His flagship dishes are the steak, uh, uh, the uh, salmon. This is the popular one? It's a popular one. And the sea bass. Very classic Italian flavors mixed with a bit of Spanish flair. Mm. Oh, that sauce is so good. Oh, yeah. Golly. I've worked on about 25 new recipes that are going to start to flow and in feature. And that's how I've designed this menu. I can't do stagnant. It drives me crazy. And no one likes stagnant. It's like painting a picture with flavors, colors, and textures. Lobster saffron broth. Adding to the mural that is Oklahoma City. The culinary world here in Oklahoma, since I've been here in the past seven years, has changed dramatically. And people's palates have changed quite a bit. It's not so much of the just steak and potatoes anymore. People are really starting to venture out and try new things, especially with the chefs being a little bolder in what we're putting out and bringing in some different flavors, not only from our country, but different culinary aspects in general from other cultures. It's come up with a menu item and then it just doesn't work? Do oh, you absolutely. ever have failures? Oh, absolutely. Okay. You learn from your failures. I couldn't be where I am right now if I didn't fail. Uh, I am not a culinary graduate. I've never stepped foot in a culinary school. I've done 22 years of learning the hard way of how to do things and working under some great chefs. And with that, I can tell you every way how not to do something. <laughs> but, you know, for every failure, there's 10 successes, so. And what comes after success here? Eventually, success elsewhere with the same owners, a passing of the torch. I plan on replacing myself with another chef and give him the reins. And that's one thing that I really took into consideration in coming on board with this company with Jason and Dave. There's too many young, aspiring cooks and even seasoned chefs who never get a chance to really shine and show what they're able to do. So if I can be a part of this new wind of change that's happening in the culinary world, to give those people that chance, I mean, that's, that's why I'm in this. I love to teach, and I want to be able to give people the opportunity to really aspire to do what they're trying to do. I've been doing this for so long, it's just a part of who I am. It's, there's a fire there that you can't not answer. You can see that fire burning bright every night, and hopefully those flames bring you back. I'd like people to be able to walk away thinking that, when's the next time I can go back there? When do I need to clear my schedule to go in there? I want them to come in here and have an experience that's comfortable, enjoyable, exciting. You can't wait to come back again. That looks so, I yeah. want to go neat. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Symmetry is what it's called, and I thought it was so neat. Chef Glenn and the two owners of Symmetry have a goal of opening 20 different restaurant concepts 
in 20 years wow. in the Oklahoma City metro. Wow. That is ambitious, that is and they say they are ready. Man, they're making a footprint for sure. They really I are. Mean, I just love that he just seems like a real guy. You know, uh, sometimes it seems is. like when it's a chef, it's like you're so intimidated, intimidated by, yeah. because I really can't cook very well, and then yeah. I watch him, and I think, Oh, he wants people to learn, and I'm thinking, my gosh, this yes. is just so cool. I yeah. love it. It's been really neat sitting down with these chefs because you might not always get to see who's behind mm -hmm. the menu, who's mm -hmm. back in the kitchen. Yeah. So uh, up next, we're excited about this one. We'll be visiting with James Beard nominated chef James Fox, who curated the menu at Culprits in downtown Oklahoma City. So that's coming up Thursday, March 14th. Oh, my